This is Eileen Fee of Transform Your Body Fitness. I'm a physical therapist and a fitness coach. And what I have for you today, we are continuing our series on using coconut oil. Today, we're using it for the application and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Do you know somebody in your life that has Alzheimer's? Well, I do, and it's my mother. And probably one of the hardest days that I've had to go through is uh, when I took my mother to get checked out because we saw changes with her memory, changes with her behavior, and we knew something wasn't right. One of the hardest things was when the doctor asked her to draw face of a clock, and uh, she couldn't do it. She drew things, but they were, did not resemble face of a clock. When, I guess it was a few weeks ago, I was doing research on the use of coconut oil and Dr. Mary Newport uh, did a video on the treatment of Alzheimer's with using coconut oil. And when she got to that part of the video and she talked about her 51 year old husband who, when he was being examined by the doctor, was asked to draw face of a clock and couldn't. And it brought back all those memories of what it's like uh, and how sad. It's a very sad disease. It affects memory, cognition, behavior, and in distinction from, say, dementia, because it is a form of dementia, but in distinction from the typical dementia is that it's something that is not because of old age. It's because of there's something in your cells that is called the mitochondria. The mitochondria become insulin resistant. And this is actually the same mechanism of what happens with diabetes. What happens is that there's glucose that's produced from your pancreas. And in the normal situation, the glucose, the insulin actually opens the door to these mitochondria and it allows the glucose to enter in and their process occurs and what's produced is called ATP, which is an energy source. It's the go juice of whatever that cell happens to be in, whatever organ that is in, whatever muscle that is in. So it makes things work. So in the case of Alzheimer's, it stops the go juice of the brain. It stops the ability of having good memory and being able to think things out and have the appropriate responses to questions and things like that. So what happens is that's why people become agitated typically with Alzheimer's. But in my mother's case, she actually, she's become very withdrawn and she's not the person that I remember. And it's very sad to watch her deteriorate. And when I was watching Dr. Mary Newport describe how she basically, um, from knowing the research that's going on out there and how she was trying to get her husband into some clinical trials of using medium chain triglycerides. Uh, that's what they're, they're actually finding is the, the medium chain triglycerides, the reason why they're helpful in the treatment of Alzheimer's is because they produce, when they're broken down, they produce what's called ketones. And ketones actually are, they're finding as an alternate source of fuel to the glucose. So because there's no, the, the mitochondria has become insulin resistant, that's what is needed for the glucose to get into the mitochondria. So what's happening is that they're finding by ketones being in the blood, they can easily enter into the mitochondria to allow it to produce the fuel it needs to make the go juice happen of whatever it's in. So in this case, for people with Alzheimer's, it's the go juice to make the brain function normally. And in the study that is being done, uh, or that she cited, out of 184 people in that study, 167 people who were given medium chain triglycerides improved 
nine, there was a 91% effective rate in the in memory, clarity, attention, alertness, and cognition. So this is very exciting because I want to try this with my mother, and I hope that this is something that if you know somebody with Alzheimer's, that you would want to try it with them. And the protocol that they are suggesting is that you are doing a combination of the coconut oil and what's called a medium chain triglyceride oil, which is really concentrated oil that comes from the coconuts, but it's a more highly concentrated kind of oil. And so the combination of the two, the reason why you need both, because in medium chain triglyceride oil, the high amount will act quickly, but it only stays in the body a short period of time. The coconut oil in this regular typical form, it takes a little longer to act, but it stays in the body longer. So that combination of the oil plus the, the coconut oil together will give long lasting results. If you give it basically three times a day, you're giving it to the person with their meals and before bedtime. They suggest to start slowly, meaning maybe about a teaspoon uh, with each meal to build up their tolerance because what happens pretty commonly is that the person, if they're given too much of the coconut oil too soon, it actually uh, could cause diarrhea. So in order for the system to begin to get used to this, they suggest a teaspoon um, and build up the tolerance because what they're really looking for within a day's time is that you can, can would the person would actually have in their body four to nine tablespoons of the combination of the coconut oil and the medium chain triglyceride oil. So this is something that I think is very exciting. I think uh, there's a lot more information. I gave very general information in order to try to promote interest, get you curious especially if you have somebody that has the Alzheimer's um, because this is something that, for example, you can mix the coconut oil, say if they have oatmeal for breakfast, you can mix it in their oatmeal. Um, if they have um, uh, soup, you can put it and mix it in their soup. Um, if they typically take cream in their coffee, you can mix it in their coffee. Like there's things you mix it in so that they're eating it with their meals and like I said, at, before they go to bed. Um, now, with any type of fatty acid, because this is considered a fatty acid or a fat, it's a good fat. It's the saturated fat versus the trans fats. So yes, it's a fat. So in order to avoid weight gain, because that could be uh, something to be concerned about, what you would do is instead of um, using the coconut oil plus whatever other type of fats that they would consume in their diet that day, you would need to make this their main source of the fat. And you would need to maybe be careful of the other fats that they're consuming so that you are limiting that, knowing you're going to give eventually a total of four to nine tablespoons of this in a day's time. Um, some people actually also, because if you know, I've given some benefits of the coconut oil that you can massage it into the skin um, and it gives pain benefits. So that they have found you can give some of that dosage it, because it's absorbed into the skin which therefore would be absorbed into the bloodstream. So if the person does have a problem with the diarrhea you might be able to use that to get some of it in so that they're not consuming all of that internally that you can do a little bit externally. Again this is dedicated for my mother I'm hoping to use this uh, on her very soon, and I hope that this helps for you and your loved ones who might have Alzheimer's disease. So stay tuned. There's more to come in using coconut oil for actually many other types of uses and benefits. Here's to your health. It's about staying as healthy as you can for as long as you can. Have a great day, everybody.